This video is going to introduce you to the research paradigm known as positivism. To do that, we'll go through the dimensions of ontology, which is the nature of being, epistemology, which is the nature of knowing, and axiology, which are the values, and then provide a couple of examples. So positivism is what we might consider the hard sciences end of the spectrum. The ontology, so its understanding of the nature of reality, is that reality is something out there, an absolute thing that can be discovered and, and measured with work. So we can actually understand reality if we just get better scientific tools, and eventually we can have a perfect understanding. A positivist epistemology sees the knower as distinct from the object that they're trying to know. So they measure and analyze things separately. You might think of biology or mathematics, some versions of evolutionary psychology that we start hearing about now and then. These are all examples of positivist epistemologies. And that's that the world is ordered, it can be understood, and that the knower is distinct. And for that reason, positivists tend to rely on experiments, quasi-experiments, and quantitative methods of inquiry. Three crucial features to positivism is that it aims to predict behaviour. And when applied in social sciences, this is about predicting human behaviour. It's useful for testing theories and also for observing whether or not a phenomenon is actually happening. For example, a generalised standardised test might help us to understand whether or not there are gaps in education outcomes within a particular population. And it also looks for hard rules or laws. Positivist approaches to social science and to science generally are aiming to find universal truths and absolute laws that apply in all circumstances. The archetype of a positivist would be Mr. Spock. And the Vulcan race in Star Trek generally relies on logic, a neutral set of values and absolute truths to govern the way they behave. So they're like the ultimate positivists. The Vulcans strive towards perfect knowledge through adherence to this sort of doctrine of extreme logic. In the MCU, you might think of Tony Stark in the original Iron Man film, or even Elon Musk in real life, where they look for engineering solutions to problems. Any problem can be solved with the right application of an engineering solution. Thanos is also a good example of a positivist in that he's got a logical approach to solving the problem of overpopulation in the universe, but if you follow his logic right through, like snapping your fingers to wipe out half of all life, it doesn't really make sense the Earth would repopulate. But the point is he's got a sense of absolute truth. He's disengaged and cold and logical in his reasoning process. If a positivist were to analyse a picture like this, a picture of the city of London, they might say something like they can see the city, they understand the physical reality of it, they can measure the size of it, its location, climate and population, they can describe the history of London by digging through the archaeological record. They can chart economic power and demographics and physicality. With enough measurement, they'll be able to create a complete picture of what London is. All they need is better tools.